Hi, my name is Mindy and welcome to my channel. Like I said in my last book review, uh, the last video I did, this is a snow in day, so my husband's gone. He's stuck up in Massachusetts because he's a truck driver, so um, he got stuck up there. And so, and since I'm disabled, I can't really go anywhere anyway, so thought I'd do a couple of videos. I have a big stack of uh, books over here that I finished that I want to do some book reviews for. So I thought I'd get a couple of them out of the way. So the next one I'm going to be doing is called Fire and Ice Dominion by D.A. Hewitt. I read this book for a, a book tour that I, that, um, I was part of. And this is a sci-fi book. It's set in the year 2075. And people are um, starting to um, really um, go to the moon to um, colonize it and um, stuff. There is a place called Dominion, which is, is like a space resort where the one, one company is, is establishing the Dominion. And then another company has... Uh, established everything else the biggest city on moon is Valhalla and uh and they're doing lots of mining and processing and everything and um so the 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 two main characters are are the children of the different companies the one company is Dominion off earth resources and her name her her name is Julia and then the other one is Petite Space Industries and what's his name I forget what his name is um Doug I think well, anyway he goes Doug goes to um he doesn't want to have anything to do with the company that his father established. So he goes to Alaska to um, do some training on uh, big, on, how do I explain, uh, like do, so they can do rescue missions all over the world and out and out in outer space and, and things like that. And then if they go through the, they last through the training, then they get so much money and then they're, then, then they're given the option of signing up for, I think it's five years or something like that. And then, uh, so they go through all of all of this and they have a person called a mentor that comes and speaks to them and then um, they also have a uh, and they have a a um, virtual reality uh, of a of Carl Jung and um, he gives them all kinds of wisdom to impart and things like that because their training's not only on on survival skills and stuff, but it's also on wisdom. And so, um, and then Julia, who is the Dominion, the Dominion off earth resources, she's in charge of making the Dominion resort come to life and stuff. But then there's nef nefarious things happening on the moon. So a whole bunch of different kinds of things happen. Um, the moon, um, everybody on the moon, they decided to declare themselves a sovereign and not have to worry about, you know, having to go through the United Nations on, on earth and stuff. And the Catholic church plays a big part in this, in this book. And, um, so their first mission, um, is almost more than they can handle the petite space industries first mission the rescue people is they need um they need to save the pope because he's traveled to the moon to establish the first lunar sea and then so and 
so they have to protect him and then they also while they're doing that they found out there's an asteroid that's headed for earth that's going to that could you know wipe out the earth and cause everybody to go everything to go extinct so they have to do all that and it there was a lot of action and stuff but there was also a lot of description and um some of it i was just like okay let's get this over with plus uh, you know plus uh, like there was a lot of uh you know there was there were relationship things going on and and you know very shallow relationships between the young people and um I don't know. I'm just over all that. And I'm just, you know, I just, this makes me wonder about that generation. Well, this was in 2075 and just makes me wonder <laughs> about some, not everybody, you know, some, but some, some young people, you know, all they're out for is a good time. And, and, you know, and that if, if that's the way they want to live their life, then that's the way they want to live their life, you know? And, um, <laughs> I just think that I personally, I, my personal thing is I think there's more to life than just having a good time and, you know, and going, you know, going for the sex. <laughs> but anyway, I, 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 I like this book, but I was, but I, I would like to see where it goes. I don't know if this is a standalone or if there's more there's more to it I would suggest I would suggest to the author that maybe you know maybe explore a little more about about this this world um I felt a little wanting at the end of this book so um but it was not a five star read for me so I don't even think I gave I don't even think I gave it a four star, maybe a three star read for me. So so thanks for stopping by. Have a good have a good snow day. Bye.